Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about partitions in BigQuery. So partitions is a very important and interesting topic in any query engines you go. Like you go for Redshift or uh, in Hadoop we have Hive or even in RDBMS like MySQL or Oracle, partitions are very much important. And partition is the first parameter which actually decides the performance of your query. So it's very important to get into this partitions. So if you are already aware of what partition and how it works, uh, with respect to in general I am saying. So uh, I am again going to repeat all those stuff but with respect to BigQuery you just need to know how the partition works. But the thing, yeah. So I am going to explain you what exactly the partition is and how exactly it works. So even though if this is a familiar general topic for you, you can skip and you can go ahead directly to the BigQuery partition uh, thing. So I'm going to explain you how the partition work and what is the partition first of all. Okay. So now imagine that you have a table. So you have a table with some kind of an like uh, 100 rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So so and so you have 100 rows. Okay. And this is a serial number. Okay. So like that we have column like name and we have a column like phone number and then we have column like city. Okay. So you have these many columns. So if you see here so this is not a partition table imagine just a hundred rows i have inserted in a table now i am just writing a query select star from the table table okay so this table table one let's name it as table one so now i am giving a where condition where where i am giving city equal to something so a fine so city a so I'm having so many assets so like A, B, A, A again, C, D, E, and again E, E, and and so and so F, something like that. You have different cities. Now, when you do this, right, what happened with respect to the query engine, right? It it just reads the first record. Okay, A is there. Okay, first record, and then it reads the second record. Even though second record is not a but still it reads it and third record okay third record is in a and then fourth record okay fourth record is in a and then fifth record even though it is not c it just reads continuously till the hundredth record you imagine if a is not there in any of this only the last record that is the hundredth record only a even though it reads from the first row the query engine will read from the first row that means we call this as full scan so it is scanning the table completely where you have the performance problem. So why a query engine should read an unnecessary data, right? So why it has to read B, why it has to read C? Because the query engine doesn't know where the A related data are exactly present because like you don't, you don't, you haven't created any partition, right? So imagine if you go to your computer, right? My computer or my PC, you will be having different partitions, uh, C drive, E drive, D drive. So in C drive, you will have all the installation files, right? So we'll have in our hard disk, we have the C drive where all the installation file goes. And then you have something called E drive where you will be having your personal photos or something and where you have a D drive where you will be having a studies related documents and E is for personal and C is for installation, right? So, so here your Microsoft operating system, it's actually creates these partition whenever you search for something you search for some document it actually does consider this as a partitions so it takes easily to that particular directory and the particular drive and the scanning will be get reduced right so partitions are very much important the partitions it's like table of uh, content right if in the first page of the book you have the table of content so if that table of content is not there then you have to scan the whole book Right. So when the table of content is there, you will come to know okay where exactly the data present. So these are all some of the examples that I can give you for partitions. So you create partitions for the data. Now, now this is the query, right? So this is the query. So what is the frequently uh, column, frequently used column in the where condition? Based on this column only, you have to create a partition. First of all, uh, the city. Why you are choosing city? as a partition column imagine can you able to go with the pa by partitioning the serial number can you think because serial numbers are unique values right you cannot create a partition and name name 
like it's almost unique right you for example my name is gautam so you may get two or three gautams but not more than that right and then phone number phone number is exactly unique and you cannot go for partitioning and account number so account number is also again like unique numbers you cannot go with it so the only column which is eligible for creating and the partition to minimize the scanning of your query to increase the performance let me go with the city so Based on this partition query only, the people who is going to query the table, they have to use the partition column to prune their reads. So here I'm using city. So I have to partition based on the city. Now, underlying in your query engine, not only big query, you take any query engine, underlying how the data will be get stored, right? So imagine the table one in your disk. So this table create the partition. So how many partitions are there in your table? For example, I have one, two, three, four, five cities in my table okay five distinct cities okay so here this is city a city b city d city d and e so it creates five partitions based on the cities available in your distinct cities available in your data so a cities like you have maybe you should have like 25 records and then b you have five records and you have 50 records here and then 10 and so on so Right. Now, when you trigger this query, it directly comes to the table and it will ignore B, C, D, and E. It directly goes to the partition A and then it will retrieve the records. So, rather than scanning 100 records, it just scan only 25 records. So, the drastic performance changes you will be seeing, the more performance you will see when you really use partition column in your query while reading it or even in the join, when you do a join condition between two tables, when you use the partition column in your join condition or in the var class, the partition pruning will happen that means partition is working the word pruning people always use in the database world or the partition table especially pruning means partition is working when the partition is not working your join query will be very slow right so without partitioning column you are not using a partition column in the join then the join takes time so that time the, the, the database developer will ask you whether you have done a partition pruning so if your table is partitioned but you have not used it in your query then you have not you are not using the pruning part right so this is what a common definition of partition and the usage of it in any databases you go so here we discussed what is partition and which column is eligible for a partition and why not the other columns and then we also discussed how the partition stores underlying in the disk and how the scans happen when the table is partitioned and we are using the partition column in the query fine so now let's come to bigquery so with respect to bigquery right so we have uh, the partition we have some types of partition different types of partitions we do have let's discuss that for example if you take hive uh, especially hive in hadoop we have a query engine similar to bigquery called hive in hive there is no such restriction in creating the partitions or or like you can create partition on any columns but bigquery when it comes to bigquery they just uh, kind of uh, optimized it in a way they are they have some kind of an uh, limitations uh, with respect to uh, choosing the partition columns. So we have some types of partitions here. Types of partitions. So the first type of partitions we do have is integer range partition. Integer range partition. I will explain you all this by showing you an example. And then second, time unit column partition. And then third, ingestion time based partition okay so you have these three types of partitions in bigquery so with respect to these I'll, I'll show you and practical for all of this so before getting into that so with respect to limitation i just wanted to tell you so integer range is all about specifying some range based partitions like 0 to 10 one partition 10 to 20 and another partition something like that you are defining a range so for example imagine uh, your data is coming out of range means then it will create uh, something called unpartitioned and all your out of range data goes to that unpartitioned partition it will create a partition like unpartitioned something like this it will create a partition like this itself okay and same way when you go for time unit column also time unit column partition column should be in the data type of date or timestamp or it should be date time other than that nothing is allowed it so again even here if you take this date time thing right there is something an interesting fact you want to see so if your date is like 
uh, if, you, if you reach this date, then all your uh, data goes to unpartitioned for, for sure. This is backward and for with respect to future, 2159 is the maximum year till which you can create a partition else it, the, the, or else it will go for unpartitioned, same similar to what I said for the integer range. So this is minimum and this is the maximum linear one for sure, like all our requirement comes within this only for sure, but, but I'm telling you. And there is no such partitions for ingestion time. Again, when you get null, it, it will create a null partition for all these three. When null data comes to the partition column, it creates null partition. And even with respect to ingestion time, this ingestion time is something and auto generated by the BigQuery itself. The, this is like at what time you are ingesting the record. Based on that time, it will create a partition. So in that case, this ingestion time will not fall into these two. It won't. Okay, so here only we have this. So null is common in all these three. As I told you, when null comes, it, it creates a null partition. When it is an unpartitioned data, uh, like the integer range and time unit column, when it goes beyond the range of it, it creates an unpartitioned partition and store all the data over there. Fine, let's get into the practical. So I just logged into my BigQuery console and I have some examples for you. So now I'm going to create a table here, you can see. So create table and this is my project name dot the data set name that is the database name is transactions and sales is my table name and i've created two columns transaction id and transaction date partitioned by so the syntax should be like this partitioned by transaction date and transaction date is date column so that is very important so it should be a date column or it should be an integer column that's it so you cannot create partition on string column with respect to bigquery Okay, and we have some options. So here we have in partition, we have something called partition expiration days equal to three. That means after three days, the record from the day when from the day of your insert, right? After three days, that particular record will be automatically get deleted from the particular partition. So you are just creating a time to leave option. If you if you don't want this, you can remove it. Okay, you can just remove this. Okay, so required partition filter is true. So partition based filter anyway it's required so we are enabling it so now what i'm going to do after creating this table so let me create this table for you just select this and create this table in the left hand side under transaction you can see sales table will be get created now yeah so the sales table got created now i'm going to insert one record so it's like transaction id is one and then i'm giving a date format data so so now after inserting this can you able to see the partition information? If you ask me that question, yes, you can able to see. There is a command for this. Select table name, comma partition ID, comma total number of rows from the project name dot transaction is your database name. There is something called information schema. This is BigQuery defined one. It's not ours, it's its own schema. Within that, there is a table like partitions you can invoke. With this, you can able to get all the information of your partition. So now when I run this, right, when I run this, you will see transaction and sales II something. But the table what I created is sales and it is a partition table, but I'm not seeing it here. Why? Because I haven't inserted any record yet. So let me insert a record. So after inserting this, then I will run the second, this command, line number 13 to check the partition. Okay, one row inserted. Now let me run this. You will be getting the partition information of the from the table. So yeah, now I'm getting sales and the partition is 2023-06-27. Yes, I've created my partition in this. And total number of rows is one record. We just have only one record, right? So this is an example for a partition. We just created a partition based on the date. Now, now there is one more example with the same time unit partition type we are discussing now. So you can able to create a partition based on month wise, day wise also. For that, you have to use date truncate command this function, you truncate your date to month. So that means it will create a partition as 06. So 06 is June. So month based partitions. So this is also you can execute and you will be seeing it. Now the next thing I want to show you is. Yes. Okay. So if you see this right. So this one, this particular example is actually the partition type which we uh, discussed. The third one, ingestion time. So ingestion time, so here, while creating the partition, you give partition date, that's it, nothing else. So automatically, the time when you are, see, if you see here, I'm not giving any column name here. 
right? So in the previous example, I have given the column name, but here I'm not giving a column name. So that means the BigQuery automatically uh, uh, takes the time of the insertion when the record has inserted that time it will take and create a partition. That is what ingestion time partition. And this is an example for that. Okay, underscore partition date. And then the next one. So this line number 31, this query is for uh, integer range based, integer range based partition. So I have a sales already. Let me change this to sales one. Okay. So I just created a table and you can see here partition by range bucket. So this keyword is important range bucket and the column I'm going to use is customer ID and generate array. 0, 100, 10. So here, what is this 0? So here, this 0 is start and then the 100 is end of your record and this is interval. So that means 0 to 10, one partition. 11 to 20, another partition. And then 21 to 30, another partition. Something like that till 100 records. So 0 to 100 is the record count and the interval that you are creating is 10. Okay, so here this range bucket is important. That is very much important. So this is what the range based partitions looks like. Okay, fine. So the next example is, so the next example is, so, okay. So you can able to create a partition using a select query also. So create table as, so we have create table, some table name, and you are creating the column partitioned by transaction date as, so from a different table, you are reading a record while reading a record from a different table, you can create a partition on the fly and you can insert. Okay, so that is what so create table seat as people used to call it as seat as create table as partitioned. So create table table name partitioned by whatever the partition time unit or integer or ingestion time. We have three types. You can use anything from this particular table. So reading record from here on the fly, you are creating a partition so these are the some of the partitions okay so these are some of the partition types so we discussed about all these three partition and i've showed you a demo for one and the remaining these queries you can run and then you can insert some records and you can check whether the partition is created or not with this command line number 13 that is information schema dot partition with this you can able to see whether the partition is created or not okay so this is what the agent of today's video and partition is very important topic and if you go for any interview people will ask you for sure what about the partition and why you need it and with respect to BigQuery it is an interview people can ask whether you can do it on um, in string columns because it is not possible because that is one thing in Hive it is possible but here it is not possible so, so blindly we cannot say yes so yeah make sure like you are practicing this uh, thing whatever I showed you here. So thanks for watching data engineering. If you really like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. So to get complete videos of BigQuery, I have shared the playlist link in the description box of this video and I have do lot of big data videos, almost 100 plus videos are there in my channel for big data only. So I've shared that link also in my description box so you can have a look on those videos as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.